right in the middle of some really dramatic changes that are occurring in the Great Lakes right now. And I've been really surprised to see how fast these changes are proceeding and some of the impacts that they're having on the uh, uh, native uh, organisms in the Great Lakes. These changes have been really accelerated by the presence of invasive species, especially the uh, zebra and quagga mussel that have come into the Great Lakes. The most amazing thing that I've seen is that I've been trawling out here from uh, you know the early 70s all the way up to this time. So as time went on, we started picking up more and more zebra mussels in the trawls. And then we saw the quagga mussel come in. And about 2001, we started seeing a shift over toward quagga mussels, which is a closely related species to the zebra mussel. As I continued trawling, I started seeing more uh, of a shift toward quagga mussels and I also started catching them deeper and deeper. Right now there's probably quagga mussels across the entire of Lake Michigan. So we've seen this whole shift in the ecosystem as uh, the, this trophic cascade is going through the food web and causing declines at every level of the, of the, of the food web. And it's just unprecedented. And this is a, a good example of the kind of abundance of uh, quagga mussels we're seeing on the bottom of Lake Michigan right now can't even do a really good trawl out there without getting in that all full of quagga mussels. And it also gives you an idea, this was only a five minute tow, and look how many quagga mussels we got in the net. Uh, it's just amazing how many are down there. That's why we've seen such huge uh, ecological impacts. Well, zebra and quagga mussels are filtering out all the algae in the system, bringing all those nutrients to the bottom. But we're not seeing the normal um, nutrient regeneration and algal growth that we should expect to see in a lake like this in the spring. Normally that jar would come up absolutely brown with diatom growth in it, especially this time of year when everything should be happening out here. It's almost crystal clear, the water out here. There's no algae growing out here anymore. Even the algae are changing. We know that the system is really radically shifting, and they're the, they're the first cog in the, in the food chain out here. What we've been out on our cruise testing is the linkage between the algae and the loss of this um, small little animal that lives in the it used to live in the bottom of Lake Michigan called Dipraia. We hope to be able to find out that it's the uh, the abundance and species composition of the al algae have changed in the last 20 years dramatically and that the Dipraia have had to change their eating habits to the point where they probably have lost out in the game. Uh, we're going to do this by studying both the sediment record to look at how the algae have changed over time and then we're also going to be looking at historical collections of Dipraia to see what they were actually eating over time. And the Dipraia were one of the primary food sources for most of the, the popular or commercial fisheries out there, be it the yellow perch, the whitefish fisheries, that, that the loss of that organism or that animal from the Great Lakes, which is probably driven by changes in its food supply, um, will have ramifications on people. We're going to have less productivity in the lakes and that's going to translate to less fish. So the sport fishermen are the people that are going to be probably most affected by this. Suddenly there's going to be less perch, there's not going to be as big a salmon fishery as we had before. It's generally cited to be four billion dollars the sport fishery the Great Lakes and all five of the Great Lakes. So uh, it's an extremely important economic boon, especially for Michigan, you know, in our current state of affairs. So it's probably going to be an unfortunate uh, sort of um, uh, impact from the kinds of changes we're seeing right now. And it's just really a dramatic uh, thing to be in this era, to be seeing this happening.